The Central Market Cuba International Trade Fair, which officially opened on the 3rd September 2020, dramatically scaled one week to a close on Wednesday. According to the Chairman, Traders Association of Central Market Cuba, Mr. Collins Umuafo, the International Trade Fair was primarily organized to showcase the market which was officially commissioned for commercial purposes on 1st July 2020 by the Executive Chairman of Buari Area Council, Honorable Dr. John Kabaya. <laughs> Describing the fair as awesome, Collins submits that its closing date had to be extended to 9th September as against the earlier scheduled date of 5th September due to popular demand. Um, we thank God because of the, the success we have recorded in this uh, trade fair, international trade fair. Uh, we, we never thought of the level of success we, we recorded. We never thought of the crowd. So much crowd in this international trade fair, the best of its kind, in this central market Cuba. Honestly, when we were planning, we initially picked the trade fair to be three days because we, we wanted to do a kind of test running. And the, what, what we saw was so unprecedented, the crowd. So that uh, led to our ext extending the trade fair to whole one week due to popular demand. So we are happy about that because at least three days will not uh, help us because of the money we pay. At least if you uh, to extend it to next week, it will help us a lot. Okay. It's our products. Okay. You know, they name them Senegalese gown. Okay. But it's a Nigerian soil. So we are competing with them. Okay. Even when we are selling in the shop, the ones who sell 5,000, we sell them 3,000 a year. The ones who sell 10,000 a shop, we sell them 7,000, 6,000 a year. Okay. So we put the price in a way that everybody can buy. Okay. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, these are pretty baby clips. Okay. 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 All right. All right. And I thought there's no much sales for now, but I believe that you no, know, if you showcase your business outside, even though it's your contact that people collect it, something. So far, you achieve something in the day. So it's something, and I really appreciate that. I'm meeting um, okay. clothes, accessories. Okay. We are not yet to take for now okay. because it's still under process. Bags, okay. shoes, and chances. Okay. This is Vaspa Martina Ogwes. Our address is at number 19, Guani Street, who says on 4 Abuja. And we're into kitchen wares and outdoor furniture, industrial things, anything. We have mixers, um, uh, ovens, anything industrial, we have them. The experience has been wonderful. Uh, we've been able to make a lot of new contacts, have distributed out our flyers, and the sales is massive. Our prices, we are wholesalers. Our prices are really, really affordable. We are wholesalers, and we're giving them out here at wholesale prices. So we've been making hope, massive sales. And this is a lunch box. Okay. And then this is another lunch box. And this is a water bottle. Microwave cover. Among the dignitaries that graced the fair was distinguished Senator Uche Ekunife, 
where she commended a number of businessmen and women in Abuja for being very enterprising and advised them to take part of their businesses home as Anambra is very conducive and has huge opportunities for their businesses. While patronizing some of the exhibitors at the fair, she urged the general public to patronize the Central Market Cuba as their prices are very affordable and the products are of good standards. Some of the dignitaries at the event took time out to say a word or two in their native dialect, which was subsequently summarized in English by the MC. <laughs> According to our Holy Book Bible, 
Ebu It took donkey years before some boss on a Maralo Mada and Mala on a Buran Bosota Tarala, Sheraz, Yamabana, Mobasho and Wizzle, who have a Pamosak on one. So I want Motayano to Emela Malana, and we're saying Malan and Amalayas to be here. Life everlasting, Jesus' name.
All over the world. What we have been looking for, those have decided to travel to Dubai for shopping and said, No, we are no longer going to Dubai. We have Central Market. Ladies and gentlemen, can we once again celebrate our chairman? <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't know. Um, today, very few mo moments ago, we had the arrival of uh, the distinguished senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Uh, Senator Uche Ekunife uh, from Anambra State. She came to move around a shop. She blessed so many shops. She picked items, and that's how the shopping has to be. Um, um, quite unfortunately, we were deprived of presence of highly dig more dignitaries because of the COVID-19. And after the COVID, it has been drastically going down, and we are seeing them in their numbers. This is just the beginning of more highly respected dignities to create this uh, uh, market, courtesy of the boss himself. My boss, I remain loyal to you. They are dead in love. My boss, I remain loyal. Oh, 
Central Market Cuba International Trade Fair, which held within the market premises, was carefully organized to accommodate every participating exhibitor and prospective visitors, to include a vast and convenient car park, among others. However, according to the chairman of the organizing committee, Victor Umokedi, there have been challenges, but not unsurmountable. The opportunity to fair is the, the CEO of the market, with his wisdom, he found out that this is a new market. It was actually commissioned by July this year, about two months ago. With his wisdom, he decided that 
we need to do a kind of trade fair to make this place a kind of, you know, well known to people. Although we, there have been some channels of advertisement, they have been advertising, have been a kind of a road show. We've done a kind of road show also to make people know that the, the market has commenced work and to make those that don't know where that the market is here, where it's situated, that the market is here. So we also see the need to organize the kind of stress fair for the people in the market, the tenants in the market, and also for people outside. The trade fair is not just for people in the market so is a kind of international trade fair. So many people outside the market, within Kuba, outside within outside the domiciliary of this Kuba, even I believe even outside the the, 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 the FCT, they are here. As you can see the turn of people are well turned uh, the, the, the canopy we provided for everybody, the tent we, we provided is well occupied. So the actual motivation is for people to know that such an edifice is situated in the heart of Kuba, yeah. For people where you can come, sell your goods, and also be comfortable. It's just like an international market. I have not seen such a market within this kind of setting, uh, where everything is available for the traders to, you know, to, to use. I've been around Abuja, I've seen other markets. I have businesses in other places, this is a new place. Before now, I used to have businesses in other places. The peculiarity of this race to other markets, is, I won't lie, is this power issue. Although the power issue is the general problem within the whole country. You understand? In my former office, we run generator 24 hours. Whenever there is no power, we run generator. But here, we don't even own generators because the management provide power. And they, are, they make sure that it's, 20, it's available 24 hours. Uh, by the grace of God, I will say we have a lot of challenges. Uh, we are expected there will be a challenge because this is the first time we are doing such a thing in this place. Like I said, this place was commissioned by July this year, yeah, just into September. I think just the fourth day of September. Yes, there are some challenges, uh, but we are not yet overwhelmed by the challenges. We are not yet overwhelmed. The challenges is what we expected because of uh, this is a new setting. This is the first time we are setting it. Yeah, there are people that uh, you know that subscribe for you know, for space and for stands, which did not get what uh, their own stand instantly. It took them few hours to receive their stand. But I um, I'm happy that it has all been sorted out. It was sorted out on the first day. It didn't, all the challenges we are all settled within the first day. Uh, the second day and the third day, for now, we've not gotten any challenge. So I believe God's hands is on it. God has made it possible for us to be able to overcome the challenges just on that first day. My advice for any organization that is trying to, you know, organize a trade fair, any market, be it a market, be it a, you know, a kind of a, a, a business trade, I want to go into trade fair. You know, trade fair is the kind of thing that you invite the public. It's either you tell them, come and see what we have, Come and showcase what you have, or come, you can buy things at a discounted price or at a cheap price. Yes, my only advice is do what you promise. When you ask somebody, people, okay, please gather up here today. This thing used to be uh, a so 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 amount, we are giving you 50%. Let it be what you said. Uh, you understand? I've been some trade fair where you say, come, we will give all items will be at 100 or 50% discount. But when you get there, you find out that it's not so. It's still at the same prices. Uh, people will not be that happy. Some will take transport and come in from other states. When they come, they will find out that the fair is not, they are not giving out what they promise. So I will advise every fair has some, you know, Number one, you have your target audience. Audience. Number two, you have what you, you plan. You have rolled out for people to come and uh, you know subscribe. So give them what you have promised them. Uh, right here, we promise them that all the shop owners are going to exhibit what they have. We advise the shop owners to come down, give us some percentage. I have gone around. I saw people that wrote thirty percent, and actually they are giving out at the thirty percent rate. There are people that I myself, I own a business here. I'm running my business in this fair at 50% discount. And everybody knows that it's 50% discount that I'm running my business, the, the, the fair on. They, are, they have actually testified, yes, this is 50%. Some people are coming in because to take the advantage. So I would advise other people that want to go into trade fair, 
whatever be your target, whatever be your promise, let it be the way you, you promise. Do it that way. It will, it maybe when you are planning, if it's going to be a yearly event, by the time you promise them to come in the next year, they will know that yeah, this place is what they promise they give. Just like here, yeah, I believe by the time we do this kind of thing next year, people will turn up because we are, we are getting what we, are, we promised them. The Central Market Cuba is a privately developed ultra-modern market in the FCT by the Anambra-bound business mogul, High Chief Vincent Chukese Udobi, the EK Dunu Kufia, the Unwa Ifetu Dunu, described as a man of vision. Cost of shops to the market is highly subsidized by its management. In practically two months of its existence, the development in the market has been awesome. It has more than 900 shops and a large parking space for more than 500 vehicles. The infrastructure, according to Collins, is second to none and comparable with foreign standards. We thank God for this uh, central market, a market that is uh, about two months old now. But if you see the level of um, uh, development in this, in this place, it's very, very uh, it's, it's awesome, it's wonderful. This market was um, built by a, a young man, a man of vision, that had the, the mission of um, impacting into the lives of people. The market, unlike others, where people rent shops at uh, exorbitant prices, cost like uh, 500, 600, some of them up to 1 million. This man built such a wonderful edifice and decided to subsidize the cost to touch the lives of people. Most of the shops here are as, as low as 150. So that led to people rushing this place. I, the vision of the man is to make sure that things are sold at a very cheap rate here. We talk about the infrastructure in this place, it's second to none. If you, if you, the, level, the level of the, the infrastructure here is something you see in few places in Nigeria. Because the man had the standard, overseas standard. That is what we have seen here. The Central Market Kubwa, which is thoughtfully sited on Plot 29 Cadastral Zone in Kubwa District, enjoys proximity with Kubwa train station and the prestigious Beaches Hotel. The market, which has, among other facilities, a police post and well-armed security personnel, 24 hours power supply, CCTV surveillance systems, and over 50 toilets, is, according to information from its official website, aimed at bringing goods and services closer to the Abuja community at affordable and convenient prices. Create an enabling working environment to the Abuja community, create job and working opportunity to the immediate community. <laughs> The Central Market Kubo, according to Collins, is poised to organizing more trade fairs before December 2020 to build up on the success already established. We, we are happy that people turn out and the level of success is so high. We are very grateful to God that all our labor is not in vain. We hope to organize subsequent trade fairs so that uh, we will build on our success. By God's grace, between now and December, we are going to have more, maybe up to two more slots of trade fair so that we can build on the success we've had. So we thank God for such a man that God wants to use to bless the lives of people. It's so wonderful. May God bless him.